winning over the influential Jewish lobby and talking up his foreign policy credentials were twin priorities for Barack Obama as he addressed a pro-Israel audience in Washington. Years later, we know that we cannot relent, we cannot yield, and as president, I will never compromise when it comes to Israel's security. Senator Obama also made some surprising comments about Jerusalem. And Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel, and it must remain undivided. And Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel, and it must remain undivided. The status of Jerusalem remains a major and bitter sticking point in Middle East peace negotiations, and Barack Obama's remarks promptly drew widespread Palestinian condemnation. تعدم أي أمل في أي تغير في السياسة الخارجية الأمريكية تجاه قضية الصراع العربي والإسرائيلي. However, Hamas disapproval won't hurt Barack Obama's presidential prospects at home. While he earned only praise from Israel's visiting Prime Minister Ehud Olmert, who found his show of support for Israel moving. And as Mr. Olmert and President Bush discussed the perceived Iranian nuclear threat, the would-be democratic president was taking a tougher line on Iran. I will do everything in my power to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. Everything in my power. I'm interested in the question of motivation of these hijackers, uh, and I, my question is really directed to the agents. But what have you found out about why these men did what they did? What motivated them to do it? I, I believe they feel a sense of outrage against the United States. They identify. <laughs> Uh, with uh, the Palestinian problem. They identify uh, with people who oppose repressive uh, re regimes. And I believe they tend to focus their anger on the United States. They identify uh, with uh, the Palestinian problem. They identify uh, with people who oppose repressive uh, re regimes. And I believe they tend to focus their anger on the United States. Hamilton, I had a quick question for you, sir. I'd spoken with you on C-SPAN about a month ago, and we talked. I think we'd, uh, yeah, we talked about Israeli we, policy. We would like, we'd like to. Yeah, address but why our, are we addressing like the grill in the our... room? The grill in the room is U.S. support for Israel. You, you had made a mistake earlier. Yeah, yeah. You had said that the Israeli-Palestinian dispute wasn't addressed in the 9/11 Commission report. I beg yeah. to differ with that. On page 147, it is stated that well, the uh, plotter of 9/11, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was driven to attack us, not because of radical ideology, as okay. um, uh, Prime Minister Blair, because of U.S. support for Israel. Why are we addressing that, sir? All right, sir. You, you, you got Mr. Bamford's book from me, James Bamford's A Pretext yeah. for War book. It okay. conveys that we were attacked, and then you have Mr. Ross up here, who's basically affiliated with the Israeli lobby, AIPAC. Uh, this is a conversation and that and you and I ought to have, but let's not take yeah, the time of our resource one, people. Sir, May we go to the next question, please? Thank you very much.
fire with gasoline here. And you know, you got you can do all the security measures, all the law enforcement, but if that continues, isn't that a fundamental? Foreign, pol foreign policy gets very complicated. When you take certain actions to support a friend, the security of Israel, as we did, it has consequences. No question where about it. Uh, now, look, down? look, I don't want to get into an argument no, no, about no, no, Middle East policy. <laughs> This is what they ended up agreeing on putting in the 9-11 Commission report. Right or wrong? There is a reason politicians don't want U.S. support of Israel listed as a root cause of Al-Qaeda's terrorism. There is a reason politicians don't want the American people to reassess that policy. Politicians lie to us about hatred of our freedoms because they care more about serving special interests than about keeping us safe. Don't let them get away with robbing us of the freedom to decide for ourselves if we want to put our lives at risk over specific foreign policies. Please pass this video on to others. Help the representative press campaign get these facts out to every American. Take action. Representativepress.org slash donate and representativepress.blogspot.com